Okay, so here's just a kind of basic reconstruction of my NR average, because why not? So, yeah, this is the first scramble. So, there's like this pre made pseudo square kind of thing, but the center over here isn't white or yellow, so I don't like using these types of pairs. And then there's another pre made pair where you have this um, orange blue white pair and another orange blue, um, orange green white pair, so you can make an orange first block. And the um, DL edge is in an okay position, but I did not end up doing that first block. What I ended up doing was um, using this pre-made kind of um, edge center pair and this pair at the back over here to make my first square. And after my first initial move, this edge would go here, which I can then pair at the back. I could have done like um, M prime R prime like that and then um, solve that and then solve that, but I decided to be dumb and not do that. So yeah this would probably be the best solution for me and then solve that and you have dr already pre-made but another solution that i could have done is like this which um, uses the two pre-made pairs so i put like kind of this at the front and then with this and that i can connect this to this this edge to the center with like ry2 u r wide and then an s prime and then i have the pair at the back and my dr is here so i can just influence it over there and then solve and yeah second continuation for that is also decent but for this yeah i ended up doing this and then pairing it like that and then dr is here so what i did at this point was solve this pair over here and then i think what i did see was that this was the matching edge for that so when i did this i did a normal a normal um r prime and then i could do that to insert and then insert that at the back and then i get a t perm i use t perm for adjacent swap because it's my best alg so i use t perm and then over here i got i guess a bit like of those comp nerves type of thing so instead of solving this where i do this into 4C, which would have given me about a 9.6 or a 9.7. I instead inserted it like this. Um, I think I a do the first one, and then I realized I messed up, and then M2 into a 4 mover where I did that. So yeah, I messed up LSC a bit. My flow was worse, and I had to do more like U prime U primes, but it was at least an okay solve especially given like the amazing scramble at the start it was bound to be a decent solve okay so this is a second scramble now with the second scramble i had a pre-made pair like this and so i look for the corresponding edge and this one over here is um connected to yellow so I could make a pseudo square with that, but that's not too great. And I'm not really good with pseudo squares. And it's pretty annoying to pair this, to like put this in um, DL without influence, without like breaking out this pair. So I decided to abandon that. And this pair over here made, is like a two move square with a kind of okay continuation. So yeah, I could pair this like that. And I did a wide move here because if I did like an S move, I would have a really garbage pair over here. So instead of doing like an S prime, I did an F wide prime. And then I have this pair, which I can do like U2, I, which I did like U prime, U prime, and then R, U, R wide, F prime. So I should have just done like an M prime, so I would have an oriented DR, but you know, I'm dumb. So what I did next was just uh, solve DR because I couldn't find really anything. I could do something like that to make a pair and then solve it but i just did this and then to insert my dr and then the first pair would just be u prime and then solve this and then this pair was just m2 u2 and then m and insert and then over here in cml i think what i thought the case was um was going to be like the back commutator l so i kind of did like a u2 prime and then I think at this point I recognized like uh, that commutator L somehow, so I did a U prime, and I'm like, wait, no, this isn't. So I did U U to AUF back, and then did my ALK. 
And then over here, it's just M2 for EOLR and then finish. So yeah, this solve really should have been like a 10.7 or something. And if I had a 10.7, this average, um, given that everything else stayed the same, would be like 11.1 or 11.2, which would have been like way better than this 11.5 average, which I'm not really happy about, but yeah. Okay, so with the third scramble, um, what I saw was this kind of pair, which I could create in th um, four moves to make the square. And then the other pair, after putting this corner in, like after making the square basically, this edge will come up here and that corner will be over here with green on bottom so I can do an M2 to insert. So it's like this to make your square. And then um, this edge that was initially on the bottom goes up to here. So when I do the R2, it has like green on bottom so I can do an M2 to insert. And then for this, I did an R prime and then pre-made pair. So I did that and then the other pair. And over here, my CMLL um, affects these two edges. So I know I have two on bottom and I can't see any uh, UL, UR edges here. So I know they're both on bottom. And then over here, I don't actually know EOLRB for this case. So I actually got really lucky. I kind of panicked and did a U prime. And then I was like, okay, whatever, let's carry on. And it turns out that actually helps me do EOLRB directly. So yeah, that's pretty nice. And then it's a okay 4C case. I, I did that 4C case like this instead of the double A dues that I usually like to do. Okay, so the next scramble, I kind of just instantly saw this edge over here with the center over here and decided I should do this. So then I tracked my other edges and I knew that when I did an R wide prime, this would move here and then like kind of a U wide would bring that here. So when I do an R after doing an R prime that moves back here. So I have kind of like a F prime U F prime insert from the front, but I do it like R U into an F prime. So like that to make my square. And then I have this pair over here, which I did u prime and then r u prime r prime u f and then my dr was in the bottom over here so what i did for this was um like r y 2 u prime and then r r and instead of solving this pair which would have been better i solved this pair instead by doing this and then inserting in the back and this pair was next and then i had the same cmo i was last solved and then I had a uh, kind of one move into stacked arrow. And over here, I kind of had really poor look ahead, which kind of sucked. And if I had better look ahead in that part, that would have been like a low 11 and would have given me a good average. But yeah, this solve was the solve that gave me the 11.53 because the solve afterwards was really, <laughs> the solve afterwards was not good to look out. So this was the fifth scramble. There were plenty of okay options for first block, but I ended up settling on the um, red yellow first block. However, for first block, I could have um, done this instead of the solution that I will show you later, where I do like an R wide U2 and then R and then do a B, B prime move. And then I'll have like a easy second pair and that would have probably gave me a way better solution but i ended up doing this out um, this block where i did solve this pair first by doing like um u prime m prime and then u r2 and then b prime and then i solved this pair by kind of pairing it like that and then inserting in the in the front and then i did this pair over here so i did r r to solve that afterwards i did kind of like uh u2 i didn't see this edge so i could not have done that pair even though that would have been way better so I did u2 and then i realized that it was this pair so i did u prime and then like r r wide um and then u r prime to have this pair but instead of inserting like that i decided to insert like this for some reason which is not good and then for this part i really panicked and did like u prime u prime u prime and then m2 and then i to pair that and then solve that. And then I got 
a back soon. And then this was like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Moves to ULRB and then super easy 4C. So yeah, that was the fifth solve. The fifth solve was really dumb. Like my first two blocks took eight seconds and my last 10 pieces took like four. Yeah, it was not a good looking solve to say the least. So on average, the first two blocks took around like 5.8 seconds and last 10 pieces took 5.7 on the counting solves, which includes like the uh, 3.8 second CML where I did like the unnecessary AUFs. And yeah, this was 4.3 TPS on average, like on the counting solves. And like judging from how bad these are and like the scrambles aren't really that good, they're not that special so like just from that information alone i can probably guess that i have definitely more averages more good averages to come that are hopefully sub 10.5 so yeah